This is up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today I'll be going over the Movie Monster Series Daimonjin for this unimportant review. Why are we doing this thing? Why did you order this thing in the first place? Because I don't have a figure of Daimonjin. Well, from looking at this, that's a good thing. He just needs to hang out. He's got his little sword. Yeah, can you pull it out? I can pull it out in my imagination. If it makes you feel better, I'm probably leaving the tag on this one. <laughs> Even the glue, glue seam, I can see it from here, Steve. Right there. It's so shiny. Oh, What are you talking about? He's got a bunch of shiny parts. Anyways, we'll get that into that in a minute. But anyways, the uh, main reason I got this, I don't have a version of this guy in my collection at all. So I thought it'd be cool. I've actually also never seen the movies, but um, I think there was a character like him in the Dark Horse comic crossover or Dark Horse, uh, blah, 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 the Dark Horse comics Batman. that he fought Godzilla, but he got like bigger. So I thought this guy would be a good re representation of that anyways, to go with my Dark Horse Godzilla. Xbox is turning off in five minutes. Forgot to turn off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, that's pretty much the gist of this. So again, haven't seen the films, but just kind of off the name alone, I wanted to add a version of this to my collection. And he's also fairly inexpensive because it's a Bandai and it's brand new. But anyways, uh, for his packaging, we have a very brown Daimajin. I like, too, that you can clearly see that the sheaf is a different color than the rest of the... Yeah. Kaiju? <laughs> what the hell, Steve? I'm not actually sure what to call him. He's like a molten, an animate statue. Uh, but you got the movie logo, Bandai, you open it up. Got him there standing even more stoically. A bunch of stuff I can't understand. Front, can't even see his face. It's just all shadows all the time. That's not true. I can see an eyeball. I see, yeah. I can see Uno eyeball. <laughs> and Kodukawa. Anyways, uh, like I mentioned, I think I'm just going to leave the tag on this one. <laughs> you sure, Steve. For the most part. But to be honest, I know Arnez is giving me some crap. I actually don't think this is that bad I, I mean, for I, a Bandai vinyl. I can see its eyes from here, so I guess that's something. They're white. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, actually, like the detailing on the face is actually really solid. Look at that chin. Look at that double cleft chin. Oh, not double cleft chin? That's a manly chin. That is the manliest that's, of man chins. That's, that's that chintastic guy from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Right? And he's got some predominant eyebrows, even though they're still really blue like the rest of his face. But they're there. I appreciate it. And he's got his helmet, which has a lot of very nice detailing. Like I said, I think my biggest gripe is just the color variety is just grayish brown, glossy blue. And that is all you get. And some shininess from the glue. He's also got some chains holding up a sheath. Also, I really like the little emblem on his stomach. I was going to say, he's got something there, just not sure what. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of detail. Like, this guy, if you like want to customize a bit and like give him a wash, I think would look great. He's even got the forearm guards. Shoulder looks good. Back looks solid. It kind of looks like he's wearing a like a pyramid as a dress, with some robotic-ish looking legs and some solid feet, and some copyright information on the bottom. Like to be honest, this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Oh, also, customary upskirt shot. What upskirt shot? He's got a skirt. We gotta look up it. There's nothing. It is there. mandatory on the channel. Whoa, what is that uh, writing on his leg down there? Like I said, that's a copyright stuff. It's like oh, a... No, the white thing. Why is it white? Why is that one different? Uh, you tell me, Tank Steve. I don't know, because I think that's the serial number, so I don't know what that is. Is it still the one different? I'm confused now. Maybe that's how, like, how many... Like, this is the number 2207 out of all of them. Also, has the year that the movie came out. Maybe we should look 1966. up the movie. Oh, what's this movie called? Daimajin. Spell it for me, Steve. There you go. Right there, you go. Uh, 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 where? Faster. Right there. I can't read. What that. do you mean you can't <laughs> read that? He almost had me there for a <sighs> second. I said, "What you talking about?" Where? Because <laughs> I don't even remember. D A I M A. 
J-I-N? Ha ha. D-A-I-M-I-J-I-N. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, the three disc special is $50? Yeah, there's three movies. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. What was the year that the first one came out? 1966. Hell yeah. You want to know when the second one came out? 1967. 1966. You want to know when the third one came out? This will be a shocker to you, Steve. 1967? 1966. God. <laughs> <laughs> He's got blue on his forearms. I went in there. He's got a little wrist. Well, I think it... Oh, it is like a bracelet. Oh, sh- there's official trailer. I got to watch this. All right, well, we got to include this video before we get copyright struck. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it down. Anyways, so overall... Oh, I guess I got Batra hanging out here if you want a comparison. Here it is next to Batra, which I don't think is horrendous. I kind of wish you had some way of him holding the sword so that you could set him just fist fighting everything. Oh my god, they cut a woman in half in this trailer. This trailer's great. Yeah, I hear that the, the movie's actually pretty dope, like for what it, like for what it is, you know. I think I still got Mega Gears hanging out here too. Hey, there we go. Let's make a Gears compare next to him. Ah, oh, it's the creators of Gamera. Yeah, it's the same company. It's Kataka. The mountain god is alive. Oh. It's coming for your soul. Okay, I got questions about his face. It shows his face is just like a mask in here. It doesn't actually have a face. I think it's the guy who was wearing a mask in the movie. Because it's supposed to be a, like a statue. I'm assuming in a second one he takes it off, maybe. Oh, no, there's a trailer that shows his Probably face. Probably not. Anyways. <laughs> Overall, I think he's pretty dope. Also, still got Batra Wing hanging out there. Let's move that aside. Um, Detail-wise, I think they actually did a pretty solid job. Again, it's, it's like most normal Bandai vinyls where you don't get much articulation because this is it. What the heck, Steve? He takes Whee! a sword out in the movie. Why doesn't he take it out here, Steve? It's at least on the figure. What more do you want? It's a different color. I wish the head could turn. I'm pretty sure if you... Hard enough, Steve, you can make it. No, that is. You can see here. It's. it's <laughs> I was thinking the same. I was like, maybe it's a glue seam, but no, that thing no, is no, attached. <laughs> because the glue seam is right here at the waist, and you get nothing there. You don't even get rotation at the legs. He is all arms all the time. I agree with the dog. Yes. Because at least the Ultramans can usually rotate. Well, I think a lot of the Ultramans also are just pretty much arms, and that's about it. So it's fine. Like I said, he's just going to be one of those guys you buy to... Right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you got a Daimajin. That's all you people get, right? Do you like it or not? He's not really one that's 100% meant for playing with. But if you have kids that are really in, like really into the more obscure kaiju movies, then at least it's not something that's like easily damage or breakable. And it's still fairly inexpensive to get a hold of. This guy's just a little bit more expensive than one of the big Playmates figures. Because if you import it, you're looking about 20 to 30 bucks to get a hold of this guy plus shipping. He's definitely along the lines of, if you're buying him, buy some other stuff with him. I got nothing nice to say, so I'm not going to say anything, Steve. Plus, I'm reading these hateful comments we already have on here. Oh, yeah, we had X Plus we set on fire because... Uh, Patreon paid for and Arnaz posted it. It's good times. Good times. We already lost five followers. Yeah. Success. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those characters by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like you for the day, what you want to donate. Would greatly appreciate it. Also got a link in the description for Entertainment Earth. If you guys like to help support the channel and get yourself some sweet collectibles, make sure to do your shopping through there. They also have free shipping on orders over 40 bucks if you use their code that's on the website. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.